So the next thing we're going to cover is a floating slide uh, with lifts. Um, it's not in the closed position, it's something you do in the open position, so you can be away from your partner when you're doing it. What's going to happen is instead of just dancing in a regular kind of square slot here that we're in, we're going to start pushing ourselves from side to side. And, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to do it in a, a Texas and Louisiana. Um, they do it with lifts. So it's not going to feel very normal at first to be lifting. But just as we covered earlier with the lifts, um, the lifts on one and five, it's the same timing. Lift. And you're pushing from side to side. If you'll notice, there's no rock step. We're not doing any rock step. Your rock step turned into this push step right here. Here's your rock step. Seven, eight. That's your rock step. So it turned into this push step, and you get this kind of neat side-to-side -side look. And um, it's kind of a visual lead of all things, or you're going to feel his hand kind of going back and forth. And if you're comfortable doing it, one person could do regular Zydeco, and the others could be doing um, the floating slide. It don't, you don't have to do it together, but it looks cool if you do. But just keep in mind, when I let her hand go, she's free to do what she wants. She can turn if she wants. She doesn't have to, or different. Um, so this is what the floating slide looks like with the lift. And then we're going to start, we're going to integrate, um, uh, like we're going to call it the V. So we're, just so you can see what that looks like, we're going to go tap, tap, tap. So there's different footwork you can put in this framework before you're going in the middle of them, going back and forth. Quick, quick. Lafayette tap slide looks like this. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. And then the other thing you can do is you can do liftovers that look like this. One, two, three, five. Lift, step, push, step, lift, step, push, step, lift, step, push, step, lift, step. And at first you don't have to do a really huge lift or anything. It's just something nice and small. It just means there's no weight on that foot. Quick, push, step, lift. Okay, so one more time. One basic, and then the second time through, we'll do the second rock step. We'll start into it. So five, six, seven, eight. Slow, quick, quick. Regular rock step. Rock step. Slow, quick, quick. Slow, push, step, lift, step, push. On your own, step, push, step, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. So now we'll get used to letting her hand go at a certain point. You're always going to let her hand go on the one. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, you can keep a hold of her hand at first until you get really comfortable with the weight changes. And then you can start letting it go. And one, two. And again, the hand, when you're letting your hand go, it's not a lead. You're just letting it go for about six beats of music. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. OK. We'll do it one more time from a basic first. Five, six, seven, eight. Slow. We'll turn a little bit. Quick, quick, slow. Rock, step, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Push, step, lift, step, push, step. Lift, step, push, step, lift, step, push, step, lift, step. Quick, quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two. And now we'll do some different footwork with that. So since we're over here for a couple beats of music, there's different things you can do with your feet as you're doing it. And one thing is called the V. So what we'll do as we'll get into the lift step, and then what we're going to start doing is as we push over, we're going to tap forward, tap off the side, tap back, and then we're going to do the push, lift. All right? So here we go. Basic, into the lifts, and then the V. So five, six, seven, eight. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Regular rock step, rock step, slow, quick, quick, slow. Push, step, lift, step. So we'll get just used to the doing. And at first, you can keep these pushes kind of small. You don't have to do really big ones. Um, it'll feel more comfortable as far as just, uh, won't feel like such an odd step if you're a little bit smaller. But anyway, you're just getting used to one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, one more. 
And one, two, three, four, five series of the V. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three. And again, it's usually not fo lead and follow. So she's going to do the V. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She's going to keep doing the V, and I'm going to do the regular weight changes of, of the lift. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. So that's real zydeco. Is that there's not lead and follow. So you're just doing your own thing. Four, five, six. Now I'll do the V, and she'll do regular zydeco. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. And now what we'll do, we'll do the Lafayette tap slide. Seven, eight, seven, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven.